Today we're going to talk about probability, uh, and we're going to focus on AND, OR, and NOT statements. Uh, so discuss, to discuss AND, OR, and NOT statements, uh, we're going to look at a uh, local establishment uh, that I'm a big fan of called Sports Cars R Us. So the other day I went to Sports Cars R Us in Winston-Salem and documented all the cars on the lot for whether they were bright red or had been written a ticket. Uh, naturally, there were a few cars on the lot that were both red and had been written a ticket. Uh, I found that there were nine red cars, and that's going to be important in a minute. Uh, there were 13 cars that had been written a ticket, uh, and then there were three cars that were both, three cars that were both red and had been issued a ticket. Additionally, there were five cars uh, on the lot that were neither red or, or had they been written a ticket. So to help process this data, to help process this data, I constructed a Venn diagram. So I have the Venn diagram here. Uh, so each dot on the Venn diagram represents a car. Uh, this circle here represents red cars. And then this circle here represents cars that had been ticketed. So we can count and see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 dots in the red car circle. So there are 9 red cars. We can count and see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 ticketed cars, 13 cars in the ticketed circle. And then there are three cars in the intersection here, meaning that they are both red and they have been issued a ticket. And then there are five cars floating out here in the universe that are neither red nor have they been ticketed. So with all of this in mind, here's the question. Let's say uh, you go through a mini midlife crisis. Uh, you do not expect it to last long, only a few days. Uh, because of your mini midlife crisis, you call up Sports Cars R Us and ask them to deliver a sports car, any sports car, uh, for the weekend to help you get over your mini midlife crisis. What is the probability that A, they deliver a sports car that is red and has been ticketed, B, uh, they deliver a sports car that is red or has been ticketed, and C, they deliver a sports car that is red but has not been ticketed. So we're going to start out by looking at part A. So part A, they deliver a sports car that is red and has been ticketed. So just as a refresher, uh, there are nine red cars, 13 cars that have been written a ticket, three cars that are both, and then five cars that are neither. So what a lot of students start out doing, if we, wanted to, if we want to determine the probability, we need to figure out the total number of cars. So the way, the way we find the probability, we look at the number of successes over the total number of outcomes. We need to figure out the total number of outcomes. We need to figure out the total number of cars. Uh, so a lot of students start by saying, oh, I'll do 9 plus 13 to get 22. And then I'll add the 5 for the cars that have not yet been counted. So that gives me 27. All right, we'll come back to this number in a second. But let's look again at our Venn diagram. Let's see if I can pull up the Venn diagram here. Okay, I'm going to go through and actually count the number of cars here. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There are 24 cars. So what was the issue here? Why did we get 27 when the actual number is 24. And the reason for that 
Right now, uh, we have double counted the three cars that are both red and have been written ticketed, tickets are being added here and here. It's being added twice. So we need to subtract the three cars that uh, are both red and have been written tickets. So we don't double count. So we end up with 24 total cars. So what did I do? Let's see here some space. So what did I do to come up with that number? I looked at the number of red cars plus the number of ticketed cars I subtracted the three cars that were both and then lastly I would need to add the five cars that are neither. Okay, and in this case I come up with 24 and then we can see that there are three cars here that are both. They are both red and have been ticketed. So the probability of being both being red and being ticketed would be 3 over 24 and that would reduce we could say 0 0.1 one, two, five. So the probability of randomly being uh, given a car that is both red and has been ticketed is 0 0.125. Moving along to part B. Part B, they deliver a sports car that is red or has been ticketed. So it's no longer an and statement, it's now an or statement. A sports car that is red or has been ticketed. Uh, we just determined there are 24 total cars. So how would you figure out the number that uh, is, are red or have been ticketed? And again, you could do 9 plus 13. But once again, you have to be careful about double counting. So you would then need to subtract 3 and get 19. So the probability of a car being red or ticketed would be 19 over 24. And if we were to look at the Venn diagram, we would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19 cars. Uh, a fallacy uh, that a lot of students have here uh, is that they look at this, they hear or, and they want to exclude the cars that are both. They want a car that's strictly red and a car, or a car that's strictly been ticketed. They want to exclude the cars that are both red and have been ticketed. Uh, and that's not the case. Uh, the example I always use, uh, I was a bit of a smart aleck when I was younger and I'd have a, a, a teacher say, well is this true or false? And I was always the one that would raise my hand and say, yes, absolutely. A statement is definitely true or false. It could be one or the other. Sometimes we have situations where it's both and that is okay. It doesn't mean, uh, there's no sort of uh, exclu exclusi exclusicity. All right, part C. Uh, they deliver a sports car that is red but has not been ticketed. Um, so we, we know there's still 24 cars. How many are red but have not been ticketed? So if we take a look at the Venn diagram, we're interested in red cars that have not been ticketed. So we're interested in this portion here of the Venn diagram. 
Now we're going to exclude these three cars uh, that are both red and ticketed. And we see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six cars that are both red but have not been writ writ written tickets. So I can flip back to black here and we see there's a six out of 24 chance and that would come out to be about 0 0.25. So you got about a one in four chance. You got a one in four chance. You got a 0.25 chance of getting a car that is red but has not been ticketed.